Good evening, everyone. Starting tomorrow, healthcare workers in New York cannot use a religious exemption to get around the COVID-19 vaccine mandate. Governor Kathy Hochul made the announcement last week and told healthcare systems, including those in our area, to carry out the change. Ericetta Koss has been following this story for us. She joins us now live with the details. Ericetta. And Adam, just last month, it looked as though religious exemptions were safe, but a recent court ruling has changed that. We talk through what's happening now and why this battle doesn't appear to be over. Legal expert Steve Modica says there's been no full hearing on the lawfulness of religious exemptions. The back and forth between courts is over immediate relief until there can be a full hearing. So the Utica judge said, um, while there is while we await a full hearing on the merits, we're not going to allow the state to refuse to allow a religious exemptions. That was a few weeks ago until a federal judge in New York City overruled it. And so that decision went to uh, an appeals court called the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. And they ruled that until there could be a full discussion uh, on the merits, that they were going to allow the state to continue to prohibit religious exemptions. So now healthcare workers who filed these exemptions will have to choose to get the first dose by tonight or risk losing their job. Modica says the litigation process is a slow one and it could be months before a decision is made once this goes to United States Supreme Court. Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, I think, you know, certainly the court as a result of some recent appointments appears to be leaning in a more conservative fashion. And so you might expect that they might take a harder look at this than, than other previous courts might. Modica says employees have a few options. Get the vaccine or see what accommodations your employer might offer. For Crystal Michael at Rochester Regional Health, her decision has already been made. I worked my last shift on Friday and I walked out with my head held high. And I'm not defeated. This isn't over for me. My, my life isn't over. A chapter has come to a close, but a new one's about to open. You'll hear much more from Krista coming up at News 8 at 11. We also reached out to both hospital systems, URMC and Rochester Regional Health. URMC says they hope their employees will take advantage of on-site vaccine clinics and throughout the county. Rochester Regional Health says they're complying with the mandate and did not comment further. In Rochester, Eric had a cost. News 8. All right, good explainer, Eric Hedda. Thank you. This did get complicated over the last few months, and if you want to see our past articles on it, you can find that over at rochesterfirst.com, including the full statements from URMC and RRH. At the